Okay, so the gas company just ripping up my street. Doesn't look like they're gonna stop anytime soon, so let's just do this, and I am sorry. Hello friends, it's Maria Cristina, one of the contributing editors at Book Riot. A while back, I pledged on Kickstarter for a book, and it was funded, and made, and shipped, and here it is, science abridged beyond the point of usefulness. I would dispute that claim because I got a lot of use from this if we're gonna go ahead and say that enjoyment is utilitarian. And these days, 2017, yeah, I'm gonna say it is. What I wanted to share with you all was when I opened this up, got to the preface. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's there. And I read the following. This preface is a preface, which means that no one will read it. Like a black hole, there is information trapped here that will never be seen by human eyes. If you believe you are reading a preface right now, you are probably caught in a deeply warped space-time such as an event horizon or the customs line at an American airport. You may perceive yourself as alive, but to outside observers you are inert and motionless. Since you are apparently here for eternity without any option to turn away, I thought I'd tell you about this book. Survey time! Who here actually reads the preface? What about introductions and forewords and all sorts of other front matter? Do you read those? I know when it comes to research that I would do as an undergraduate and as a graduate student, I would read everything because you never know what your professors are going to bring up in class discussion or on an exam, or there may be something in a preface that leads you to a great source for a paper or a project. Sometimes it's amusing just to watch the name dropping that happens in many prefaces, and I would feel really validated if someone name dropped one of my professors. Okay, that's a pretty solid endorsement for my educational choices. I find as a civilian, I tend to read them just as a reflex. It's muscle memory when I open up a book from my years as a student, and I can't stop myself. And I don't want to stop myself because I do find, even in books that aren't so purposefully meant to be funny, such as this one, I find out really cool stuff in a preface. I find out that authors have connections to other thinkers that I admire or I'm interested in. I will jot down things that I want to chase down later because they pique my interest even if they aren't necessarily the focus of the book. And I don't know, it's a, it's a nice way to just kind of ease myself into a brand new book when I've been living in another book for a long time. So I think prefaces are dandy. I like them. If I were in a rush, maybe I would skip them. If I were going to a specific book because it had a specific chapter and that was the only chapter that I wanted to put my eyeballs on and I was under some kind of time constraint, okay, I wouldn't read the preface or the introduction or the Jesus. watching and listening on behalf of myself and that jackhammer. I'm beginning to think that prefaces sounds really weird, but that may be just because I've said it many, many times in the past few minutes. But if you have any insight on how to pluralize preface, 
please share that too. Um, I could just look that up in a dictionary and I'm not gonna. No, I'm probably going to. But you know, when I wrap this up. Anyway.